What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we're gonna to talk about tombstones. All right, so why do we care about tombstones? Who needs to know about tombstones? Nobody! This is a pointless video, you should shut it off right now. <laughs> tombstones. Uh, so, tombstones are the little things that look like gravestones, right? Like you're at a uh, graveyard and you've got dead people. No, they're sockets. They're just sockets, but they are sockets for tube-shaped lights. So, fluorescent lights, um, LED tubes, things of that nature. There's T5, T8, uh, T12. So, you're going to have a whole bunch of different kinds of tombstones based off of the different uh, pin out for specific types of lamps. So uh, T12 are generally like a single pin, all, however they do have a high output bi pin version. Um, T8s, T5s, they're gonna have a very similar thing where they've got two uh, pins. Some of them you you stick pins in and you don't have to spin the bulb. Some of them you, do, you actually do have to put pins in and then spin the bulb. But um, beyond that there's some characteristics of the, the, the tombstones themselves that are things that you need to know. So tombstones tend to come in uh, a variety of different types. Like, like some of them have internal plastic inside of them that spins as you spin the bulb. Some of them don't. Some of them actually just have metal in there that's spring loaded. So it allows for you to twist the bulb. Um, but more specifically, one thing that people ask a lot of questions about is what is this whole shunted, shunted versus, versus unshunted tombstone thing? So for you to understand what shunting and, and non-shunting is, anytime in electrical we talk about shunting, it usually means that we have power coming somewhere and then we kind of send it over somewhere else. We have shunt trip breakers, which is essentially just a breaker that can take a signal in from some other thing. We're sending power to it to make it do something. So tombstones, we can kind of think in those terms. Um, sometimes a tombstone only needs to get uh, conductivity from one part of a lamp to one side of the tombstone. The other pin of the lamp oftentimes will need its own conductor. There might be a, 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 um, two different kinds of diodes going through that thing. There might be like a, a supply and a return, kind of like a hot and a neutral. So sometimes we have a reason to split the pieces of metal that are inside of a tombstone so that they're not touching, but sometimes we do want them touching. It, again, it just depends really on what kind of ballast is driving these lamps, what kind of lamps that they are. Um, sometimes even with modern LEDs, instead of having a driver, you'll have 120 volt LEDs where the driver and the, uh, the ballasting and, and driving of the bulb is done on the inside of the bulb. So we really just need to be able to pass 120 volts through. So we'll kind of have one dummy tombstone at one end that doesn't actually do anything. And then we'll have one that on half of it is a hot and the other half is a neutral. So we're powering, but the end of it just needs to hold the bulb up. It actually doesn't need to conduct anything. So again, there's like all these different kinds of situations where you want different things, but the ability for us to shunt or unshunt is really based off of what kind of ballast and what we're trying to do with the pins of the bulb. So what's important to notice about shunted tombstones or non-shunted tombstones is that there's actual electrical conductivity between the pins in a shunted tombstone. So when we see on the back of a tombstone where there's an S and it says shunted, or we look at the number of pin holes there are and there's only two pins on one side instead of four pins, the two pins means that there is internally, there's a piece of metal that connects one side of this tombstone to the other side. They are shunting power. They're taking it in or out and they're sending it down one pin and they're making the other pin all one piece of metal, all continuous. That is what shunting means. Then there is unshunted where you have essentially a set of holes in here that can take conductors in and a set over here. On this side, all of the metal inside of this tombstone is not connected to the metal on this side. So you actually have a space. There are some fixtures, some ballast types that require this, that do not want the right side and the left side continuous. Now you can actually take an unshunted tombstone like this and you can put wires in between them to shunt them. 
depends on what kind of ballast you have. And you're gonna look at the schematics on every single ballast and you can see whether or not they need conductors going to both sides or one side of a tombstone. So just understand that if you're trying to uh, replace these, you're on a service call, you're out in the field and you're putting new tombstones in, uh, look to see whether or not you've got four pins or two pins and that'll tell you whether or not you have shunted or unshunted. And look at the ballast and look at the actual schematic on there to figure out whether or not you need one or the other. Most of the time though, to stay within a UL listing of a fixture, if you're gonna be replacing parts, you need to be replacing it with listed parts that are the same as were manufactured for the inside of this. So every single one of these tombstones is gonna have a part number on the back of it. This one specifically is an E171741. It is rated for 600 volts, 660 watts. It says that it is UL listed. Um, so this is what I would do. I would just take this exact thing, I would snap a picture of it, go look for the part number, order the exact same thing. The reason I do that rather than just like trying to go to Home Depot or go to a supply house is because most of the time what they stock is just like generic stuff. They don't have things that are very specific. And a lot of times in commercial service work, we're looking for very specific types. Um, and you know, we want the, the bulbs to sit off the same amount. We don't want like one bulb that kind of hangs down because you'll notice tombstones oftentimes have different heights as well. So trying to match exactly what was in the fixture is the best method of going about it. So that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to know about tombstones. There are different types. Obviously we have T8, T12, T5. Uh, we have some of them that the insides actually spin. We have some of them that are spring loaded that don't spin. We have some of them that are shunted, which means both sides of the tombstone are electrically conductive. They're basically one giant piece of metal. Then we have unshunted, which means there are two different pieces of metal, but you can shunt them if you can't find a shunted tombstone, but you have one size wise that will fit that is unshunted. You can make a shunt by connecting one side to the other side. Um, and just obviously try to match the part numbers as much as you can. Make sure that you have the same height profile and then your lamps will actually fit in the fixture when you go to snap everything together. That's pretty much it. That's tombstones. Love you crazy people. See you in the next one. Best can't music and video.